Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bruner here. Um, just wanted to show you guys uh, how to do one of the puzzles on Lure of the Rat Labyrinth. Normally, if you're going to play the game, you have to find the, get to these puzzles by unlocking them. But um, one of the second things you do in the game is the testing lab. So, so here's these little cups that you have and uh, different measurements and you want to get this stuff into this with these proportions so um, let's see how are we gonna get one eyeball let's see one eyeball uh, that'd be seven minus six so let's put seven in here One, two, dump it, four, dump it, and six. Seven minus six equals one. All that work just for one. Oh well. <laughs> So you can see this works your mathematical skills and it gets harder with these numbers to figure out how much you actually need to put in there. They use fractions in the next level. I found that one pretty hard. So now that we've got one, we need three. So, um, ugh. I'm having a hard time doing this right now. <clears throat> Seven minus four is three so let's put this in here it fills it up it always fills it up to the to the brim so we got seven minus two is five seven minus four is three so now we got three in this seven cup And let's put it in there. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Eleven. That would be nine plus two. Let's fill it up. Fill nine up. Uh, so much math. And then nine plus two is 11 and last but not least three ladybugs that's another seven minus four and after all your hard work you get to see what happens in the game when you actually do perfect or as good as you can get you get a bean and it, it progresses the story um, that's part of the storyline but this is just puzzles that we're gonna use in class if I'm gonna teach you things with it <laughs> so there you go let's see what happens it tests it for you and you've got all the right levels and then this guy comes to test your concoction perfect alright that's it for today thank you so as you can see you're definitely using math here um, in middle school would probably be able to handle it. Uh, high school probably wouldn't find much interest in the game, but even so, they might really enjoy trying to play through the the story on the game. So that's Lure of the Labyrinth for you.